there. I will watch you. Okay. I can, but I can help you with the gin making. Okay. So, uh, chop up the lemon and chop, chop, chop up. The well, shall I start the video and then you tell me what to do? Okay. So we're gonna say yeah. hello. Say hello to the video. Hello, video. <laughs> Hi, today I'm going to make the Flying Dutchman. Um, I've got a little helper today, so Elliot wanted to help me out. So this one is, um, it is alcoholic, he won't be trying it. Um, we've got um, an orange gin, so I've picked up the Beef Eater Blood Orange Gin um, in Waitrose uh, yesterday, um, which um, the girl on the checkout said was brilliant so I'm looking forward to trying this one anyway it's not been opened yet and um, you'll need some Angostura bitters so back of your cupboard no doubt um, some Angostura bitters and you'll need a quarter of a lemon and a quarter of an orange um, <laughs> we have got and um, ice and ice yes so we've got a shaker half filled with ice and um, we've got a um, the other part of the shaker there and a strainer and a chilled glass as well so the flying dutchman we are going to start off with uh we've got sorry i haven't made this one before i should have said that mummy it's a new one isn't it first first chop up the lemon oh not yet we need to put the gin in okay yeah <laughs> so you're going to use 60 mils of gin or so two ounces of gin so nice good glug of gin. Uh, so I, this I want to see it. You want to see it? You watching? Oh. So this one's a beef eater orange gin. Um Sipsmith do one that is orange and uh, cacao, which is a nice twist on this one. Um or uh, Tanqueray's Seville um gin is lovely for this too. So we need the juice of a quarter of an orange. So I'm gonna chop the orange into quarters. And then mm -hmm. I'll do lemon. And then we'll do the lemon, yeah. So I'm going to squeeze this. I'm the, I'm the, oh. Can you squeeze it? Yeah. Squeeze it? Did it get in your eye? Yeah. Give it a squeeze, good squeeze. Yeah. Oh boy, that's it. Let's squeeze that some more. Get all the juice out. It's much better with fresh orange juice from an orange rather than from a carton. It um, just gives a slightly different flavour. We can still do more. We can do more. Yeah, this time I'm can, I'm going to squeeze all the orange, the orange juice. Oh, we're going to do the lemon next. So, same again, a quarter of a lemon. This gives a really nice tang to it. And I can squeeze the juice out the lemon. Okay. Oops. In into the in the to the cocktail. <laughs> so give that a squeeze. Can you give that a squeeze for me? Okay. That's it. Nice big squeeze. Was um. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> a bit more. I've got a bit more squeezing to do there. Whoops. <laughs> Gets a bit sticky. So really have a tea towel or something handy, which I haven't got. So. There we go, that's the used bits. And then we just want three drops of Angostura. So go a bit careful on the Angostura because it can get overly spicy. One, two, three. Go for four, because I like Angostura. <laughs> and then we're going to put, whoops, no, here it is, shaker here. It's my turn. It's your turn. Can you shake it for me? Yeah. Yeah. Give it a shake. Yeah. Your yeah, hand's getting cold. Yeah. <laughs> Let me finish that off then. Good boy. Oh, that's me now. <laughs> there we go. We need to strain it into the glass. So we'll put the strainer over here. And here's our glass. Ooh. Smells absolutely gorgeous. 
So had I used a truly orange gin rather than a blood orange gin, it wouldn't have been quite so pink Mommy, as this or red it, as this. Is it still not finished? We're just going to do a little bit of garnish, which can be a slice or a piece of fresh orange or dried orange actually. I have got some dried orange from the Zest Company, which they are absolutely delicious. Mummy, I want to put something in the gin. <laughs> there we go. I want to put something in the gin. There's plenty in the gin. No, I want to put enough in the gin. <laughs> so this is a Flying Dutchman. Make another drink. Make another gin. <laughs> Make another one. 